Hey, it's Rexy and Miko. I'm Rue. Hi, Miki. It's in Miko. Yeah. But <laughs> this is episode nine of Violet Evergarden. <gasps> so, uh, last time we had, uh, she was just reliving the memories of things happening. She also visited the estate where Gilbert grew up. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. And also where she grew up a little bit, too. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Just kind of left off at, was at the grave. She saw the site, and then uh, from here, she, what do you think she, is that? She has to take it in now. Mm-hmm. She has to... We also, I forget if this is the beginning or the middle, where Kathalia was, oh yes, Claudia's on his way. Kathalia was um, chiding him for telling her, even though he didn't tell her. Yeah. <laughs> and he just took it. And he's ready to find her now. So I don't know what he's going to do. Mm. Mm. We had a patron comment that was talking about the general scene um, when he was talking to Gilbert to call him a hypocrite and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it seemed very odd. He wasn't sure if the general's just, you know, a piece of work. Yeah. Or maybe he was saying, he's saying Gilbert's a hypocrite because he's fighting against Violet fighting, but he only claims she's not ready to fight because she's too unstable. So saying she's not ready versus just take her out of the army entirely, maybe that's what the hypocrisy uh, is. Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, again, the general could just be a piece of work. We also had people saying uh, in the comments. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So mm-hmm. uh, let's get into it. Guys, if you like your time here, please do like, subscribe, follow, and see more. Remember, if you want to see the next two of these two weeks early, the patient is in the, there in the description for $5. You get a whole month ahead for uh, movies and two weeks ahead for any show that we do. So thank you very much. We'll see you in the discussion. Oh, I saw the Oh, more flashback. Oh, she found him. Yes, when she found him. Mm. I forgot that happened. Jeez. Oh, more shots. Oh my gosh. He really was a tank. Gotta go kill them. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's out of bullets. <laughs> she just Why did he run away? Yeah. <laughs> got a pool of blood. Oh! And that's how she loses her arms? Yep. Oh. Yep. Whoa, oh, that, wow. That's a strong, it's a strong shot. She's small. Real small frame. One arm gone. Just don't lose the other one. Jeez. Oh. Oh, grenade. It's the same Scarface guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. He came back. Ah. And of course, the other arm. And that's where they left off on the steps. Yes. Yeah. Yep. There it goes. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh. Aw. <laughs> Hmm. Right, that, that was a flashback we saw. Oh, oh and it comes down. She's feeling faint. She's losing blood. Oh. Oh, you protected her. Oh. She went right back there. Mm-hmm. Oh no, is he in there? Probably not gonna find anything. Mm. There's him. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they oh. bombarded it. Whoa. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they know they can't trust you to be stable. <laughs> Office. Let's go back to job. Like. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Being a human. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh Ben Bertold is here. Ben Bertold, ben, 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 ben Benedict! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she came. Oh. What do you mean? Are you okay? He just he wants to go back to job and it's all good. Emotionally right? not. Have some tact. Mm-hmm. Which never happened. Mm. No way it just broke down. Oh. oh, okay. Huh. Use it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, okay, just a right. Anti peace sentiments. Well, that's not good. Mm. She gonna go on a uh, vengeance rampage? 
Well, they might recognize him. Like, he might be someone well known. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> just in the background, that happened. Yeah, yeah, just so we know what's going on. Mm. But not. Hmm? Why him? Yeah. Is it a soldier? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Um, <laughs> oh, he went missing, but don't worry. <laughs> Just threw away the letters, like I, I can be bothered. Interrupting this to remind you guys that the Patreon down below allows you to see these episodes uncut or weeks ahead. Check it out down below. Probably some in the heart nonsense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly, possible. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Uh, look, look at Leah's brother. Yeah. Hmm. Who would he be describing to? Maybe Fell? Say thank you. Where'd she go? She's going to the top of the tower. Like Luca Leo did. Oh, oh is this? No, it's oh, wait, is this? She went back. Yeah. <sighs> oh, is this a flashback to the beginning of the episode? Hmm. Oh. Aww. You gonna say something mean in her head? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's dreaming. Yeah. Teddy bear. I keep feeling she's gonna take them off or something. Yeah. Uh oh, flashing out. She's gonna break that window. Scream? <laughs> Where is that room? That Violet Evergarden that stayed or the Yeah, the attic. I think it's the, it's the attic, attic that she got a long time ago. Old man? Oh! Wait, the le he did write a letter to her? Yeah. What if everybody's gonna write a letter to her? Hmm. Oh, she opened the door. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. So many. <laughs> oh, so he has all the words, men. <laughs> Why does he wear these shoes? Don't yeah. explain, please. The, the bike? <laughs> Don't want to be short? Oh! Help. <laughs> oh, she's gonna help. Mm -hmm. Oh, she cares. Well, that's good. Take Get her out do there. Something. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Man, she looks so awful. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> Now you're his turn. Mm. 
かな Oh, yeah, they don't know him. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nice. Oh. 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 Oh, her first letter. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Do you want me to get Jesse? No, I'm good. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> She's leaking. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Now she's feeling what sh the power she has in her hands. Do it. Reach for the sky. <laughs> Shake hand. Hmm? Oh. Oh, they visit. They visit the orphanage. And then the place. All the that things they, oh, she did. Olivia. Oh. Look at him. Getting messages. Mm. What's this one? This is just a violet. Oh, oh. the violet. Oh, <laughs> you picked up on that then. Yeah, I did. I did. Touch it. <laughs> it. Oh, yeah. right back there. That's the healing you need, girl. The real thing he said, not that stinky dream. Yeah. Oh. So she's moving forward already. Hmm. Well, I think it's been a little oh. bit. Oh, yeah, oh, I, I mean, dirty again? Uh, she never got cleaned up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought she looked clean before. <laughs> Finally crying. <laughs> he doesn't have that answer either. Discussion. Discussion. Back to the crying yeah. lab. Back to the the usual heartbreak. Yeah, but we also got you know some pieces put back together a little bit in the yeah. end there. Yeah, we already got flashbacks to everything that's happening. And mm -hmm. I was wondering, like, what happens next? Because yeah. she's got her resolution and we've got four episodes left. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was gonna, I was wondering if you, like, just didn't tell us the episode counts and be like, surprise, this is the last no. one. No. <laughs> oh, that'd be a lot to throw you off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Like, w w I'm, I'm sure she's not, like, fully healed, but she's at least at, met a turning point. Um, maybe we'll have to deal with the war still continuing maybe somebody's gonna come and like you need to come back and fight the war mm -hmm. this, that's all you're good for and she's gonna have to stand her ground on the what she is now mm -hmm. what she wants to be maybe she's gonna be a pacifist <laughs> like complete opposite extreme no <laughs> <laughs> we see how she lost her arms mm -hmm. one was one shot off and one was blown off uh, yeah wow Ooh, it just kind of it's slot off uh, just, just, that's gross uh, that's, oh wow yeah. And she's uh, just bleeding out. Mm hmm That's why she, she was about to pass out when he mm -hmm. saved her. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, I mean, yeah, they were looking for his body, but they found him at the bottom of the stairs and nothing is there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... What yeah, and she was body? there. Yeah. What happened to his body, indeed. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe someone did take his body. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because I was assuming that maybe he, he like, shielded her with his body. Well, what if it was blown to smithereens? I mean, that close to her. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, it, it, I thought so too, but I thought she was literally gonna like find some remnant of him there, but it was like, if yeah. they didn't find him, she wouldn't. 
Mm. When they're trying to leave that place, we got some lore that there are anti-peace riots going on. Mm-hmm. People are very mad about the peace deal. Like, I'm not sure if this is World It seemed like a, bl- a blend of World War One and World War Two. But if this is like a World War One scenario, then the peace deal could have been like really bad, which eventually you know, leads to World War Two. Mm-hmm. So it could be that's what they're mad about. Like uh, maybe they lost a lot of territory, they lost a lot of money, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Then we see, yeah, just before they left, that we saw that. I just want to mention um, Claudia. He was just like, "Let's go, let's go, girl, pick it up." Mm-hmm. You know, like being as cold as he was, but I, I think it was all to culminate in that last scene where he finally breaks down and cry, mm. cries because he's, he's he's not like fully cold. He's just not like he's not no tact. feeling. Yeah, not yes. feeling. Yeah, he has these soft feeling eyes, mm-hmm. but no feeling coming out of his mouth. No, <laughs> he's a soldier end of the time. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, it and was really, guy. really soft when he's like, if you don't feel like it, I'll stay with you until you... That was the best the moment there. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Until Benedict blew the horn. He really shows <laughs> up. <laughs> he's like, sorry, I interrupted your soft moment there. I apologize. <laughs> but I mean, uh, Violet went with mm-hmm. them, so that was good. I, I thought she was going to just sit there. Yeah. For yeah. a while. Mm-hmm. And then, um... Do you think that Benedict followed them, or is that how Claudia... Got there, probably because not it, got it, there. It, it, it Benjamin talked like, as if yeah he came here on That's his own. That's true. It sounded like he just showed up. That's mm-hmm. true. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. So he, did Claudia also just walk and walk and walk? Around? I think you might have. <laughs> or maybe he took rides, you know, and he, and he was just kind of like jump uh, jumping. Could be here, could be there. Could have taken like a bus here. Or yeah, something. Benedict mm-hmm. followed. Yeah, and um, Benedict seems to have some sort of connection to Violet, or can have a connection to Violet because mm-hmm. uh, Catalia was like, oh, yeah. everybody, you can talk to him. Right. And also, if he did take initiative to come here, yeah. I mean, he has shown before, he has noticed things about Violet and he hasn't acted on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if it's like he also lost someone very important to him mm-hmm. and left him scarred and that's why he wears heels. Like, that's their <laughs> shoes. Yeah, maybe. Because oh, they pointed the point out, like, why, why are you wearing, wearing the shoes? Yeah, yeah, so I thought it was like, no, it's a thing, right? No, apparently no, not. not. Mm. <laughs> apparently not. Mm. He's just wearing heels. He's just wearing heels. Those fabulous <laughs> boots. Uh, but I, I, I keep noticing that they look similar. So I'm, I'm mm-hmm. in the boat that they're um, siblings, but they don't, they're like war-torn family. They don't know about each other. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking, like, they they're both could blonde, be twins. both blue-eyed. If you, if you told me they're twins, I'd believe you. Mm-hmm. It could yeah. be related. Because he said that... Uh, Claudia said he grew up with Benjamin. Back in his Be- neighborhood. Yeah, ben- Benedict. Yes, that guy. Oh. Hmm. So, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking just war-torn family there. I feel like if that if it was something like that, Catalina would be more on his case. Because she was really mad at Claude for not even telling him about the major this whole time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Maybe there's just some connections otherwise, but mm-hmm. yeah, so she's able to, she's, she's, she's burning from her actions now that she understands what it means and she understands what love is and she understands that he's dead, it's like everything's coming together and she's finally having forced, being forced to process everything. And then Claud- Claudia says something to Catalina like, um, she'll be okay, basically. Yeah. Like, she just has to go through it, is what he's saying. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Which, mm. I, yes, I understand that, and, and at the same time, I'm like, <laughs> be, like if it weren't for Erica and Iris, sir, <laughs> I don't know if she would have. She was trying to kill herself mm. in the night there because he, I know he, he's more a hands off dad kind of yeah. guy, you know. But like, she is just learning how to deal with all of this, you know. Yeah. There's she needs some guidance hmm. and he's not providing much it worked out here but i don't give that in his favor like it worked out but it's not anything he did no mm-hmm. he literally was just like he'll be all right yeah and he stood back i was gonna say actually multiple people intercepted yeah. it was yeah. iris and erica with their letter and then the guy who came to deliver it had her santa santa came and had her, her like delivering letters that she was able to see and the universe basically the universe helped her <laughs> Because the universe showed her all of these things. <laughs> Helping her more than the, the person who's like, I have to take care of you. Yes. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we'll ever pick up with, I mean, is that just some throwaway thing that actually happened? Or who just threw away all these letters? What is that about? <laughs> yeah, that's so random. <laughs> that's, that's really random. Yeah. 
<laughs> doesn't feel like it. I threw away all these. Letters. Just dust them. And, and the guy says, yeah, I have, it. The guy says he had a pretty good idea where he dumped him too. Yeah. So it's like he knows this person, whoever it was. Yeah, but it can't be Benedict because he was there and I yeah. talking about too. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know any other guy that works here. Yeah. Just some random, some random fellow. <laughs> yeah. You know what? He talks about it like it's a common thing like people Almost. just give up on the job mm-hmm. and they're like you know I'm just not gonna go back <laughs> I'm just gonna put it right here and walk away it's like oh you know they dump it in that place every the time. place that they always dump it <laughs> yes that's where he dumped it yeah this guy's got like 40 years of experience <laughs> yeah. oh, but they also mentioned that Catalia is also burning yes yeah so I'm wondering Both if she was what's that about she was also a soldier or a nurse, not a nurse. She would have to be do. She would have to have done something bad. I feel like, I feel like not soldier. But she did like she but came she's from in the army. Sort of past. She did something in the army. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, what would she have done that would have left her scarred? I mean, if she was a nurse, she saw a lot of people in pain and stuff. That would affect you. Mm. Yeah, but, but it would have to be like she did something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could it could also just not be the army. It could have been <clears throat> previous line of work. Mm. Could be. That she's not proud of. Mm. Uh, we so Bendit, I mean Bendit, uh, Claude. He eventually he did tear up yeah. and show emotions like, "Oh, you figured it out! Thank God, I would figure it out." <laughs> yeah, it's like I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't helping. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder how that's going to develop their relationship, if at all, or he if he's just going to go back to just pretending everything's okay. Yeah, yeah. he's the kind of dad at who I understand when the, you know the dad is like, "I got married because my kid needed a mother." Like I, like I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like, like suddenly, yes. I, you know what? I all those dads that ran to get, get married and just to give their kid a man, I understand now. <laughs> you know, it's, it's clear. It's clear. <laughs> yeah, and it, and no, to be honest, like he did. I don't want to give him some. I don't want to give him some praise. Yeah. He did go get her he mm-hmm. did yes. give her a job he put yes. a roof over her head he connected he did everything good asked of him mm-hmm. but I, it's just a situation where you'd think the honorable thing would be to try your best and step up the best and it's just i don't think he's trying to be bad no he mm-hmm. just doesn't know yeah. you know yeah so, so I, i'm wagging my finger at him for not doing things correctly but i do think it's just he's just not equipped to handle this yeah i i think what rose is saying really brings it home like yeah. I think he's just an emotionally undeveloped person so that he doesn't like he himself doesn't understand how to deal with his own emotions like he's talking about like you'll never forget the past blah 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 blah. so it's like he's learned in he figured out in that moment you're never gonna forget the past but also you'll never forget these things you've done the lives you've changed too yes. you know so it's like he's still trying to figure things out too so he's like mm-hmm. he can't help because he's yeah. struggling you yeah. know can't through, throw the b- buoy that's keeping you from drowning, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. I came up with that at the time. Good <laughs> job! Yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, oh, yeah, her first letter. Her right. first letter. She's never received a letter. Oh, so sweet. Yeah. She should go around asking, have you received a letter before? I'm going to write you a letter. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, she, she got her first letter and um, it reached her heart. So I'm proud of Erica and Iris because I thought they were just like, they were just going to be throwaway characters for a while and they actually did something nice. But they are actually friends and yes. looking out for her. They were like, is, they don't know what to do either, but they did something. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I like that when they do that in shows, like... Because I would be, if I was in that position, just like, I had no clue how to help this person. Yeah. So, you know, they did what they knew how, which was write letters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. From the heart. And I do wonder if we're ever going to pick up with the whole Erica thing, because it kind of hinted that there's a story there. Because yeah. she was a little bit emotionless like Violet, mm-hmm. but we just left that alone for five episodes. Yeah, Vi- yeah, Violet was like, this is not about you. Yeah. <laughs> she show. really did say My that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the next four episodes are, is like actually listening to the stories that she didn't listen yes. to before. Yes. Mm. I wonder where we're going to next now, because like... Uh, are we just doing more emotional development? Are we, uh, or are is and uh, maybe this episode is just saying that she's not totally okay yet, mm-hmm. but she's at least stepping she's forward. Stepping forward, yeah. yeah. I think it's maybe she's off the literal brink mm-hmm. of the, like self destruction, but mm-hmm. she's still everything sucks, mm-hmm. but she's willing to burn through it, maybe. Mm-hmm. or at least try. Yeah, you know what's throwing us off is because usually this is the point that the show ends. Yeah. They, they usually are like, okay, she's figured out enough of what to do, 
we can leave her alone now. Mm-hmm. So I feel like the show wants to walk through a little bit more than that. So I'm interested to see where it goes. Yeah. Whatever they're interested in doing. Mm-hmm. They're an OVA in a movie. Ooh. But, <laughs> yeah, so guys, thank you guys very much for being here. Guys, if you like your time here, please do like, subscribe, and see more. Remember, if you want to see next two of these episodes two weeks ahead for $5 a month, you can see that in the Patreon down below as well as whole month ahead for movies. But either way, thank you very much. We'll see you in the city. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, bye. Special thanks to our patrons, Benarka, Mevistro, NC Hobbsfan, Sal Inger, Yui Tanaka, Fufu, Jake Thompson, Junior, Al Harion, Shock Blaster, Emma Torme, Jamal Wilson, Deli, Tyrone Tyrone, Rafi, Moonsella, Ruben Finamau, Lizer, James, Eric Barnett, M. Liga, Ali Parkskellen, CVBN, Psycho 6, Alexander D, Stella Stella, Scalian, Frederick, Nishikaze, Das Foodie, Nanchi, JD310, and Andres Medina.